example, you'll see that we're back to sentences. So we're going to have to take that extra step of translating the sentence into an equation before we can solve. 3 and 2 thirds times a number is equal to 5 and 3 fourths. What is that number? First, I'm going to assign the variable, and it says a number. So I do have a variable, and I'm going to call it x. Let x equal a number. I've assigned the variable. I've got to then write the equation. And then I'm going to solve the equation. OK, so 3 and 2 thirds times a number is equal to it tells me right here that this left side of the sentence is equal to the right side of the sentence. Now that I've found my equal sign, I'm going to start with the left side of the equation. 3 and 2 thirds times a number. 3 and 2 thirds, and this is times, so I need to multiply times a number. And we said that the number is going to be represented by x, so 3 and 2 thirds x is equal to equals 5 and 3 fourths. Before I go on to solve an equation, I always go back and double check. 3 and 2 thirds, 3 and 2 thirds times a number, so times x, is equal to, so equals 5 and 3 fourths. Now, as I did in the previous example, I need to change these into improper fractions to make them easier to work with using the multiplication principle. So 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. So that is 11 thirds x equals 5 times 4 is 20 plus 3 23 fourths. Okay. I'm going to multiply by the inverse or the reciprocal, which is 3 elevenths. So if I have 3 elevenths times 11 thirds x equals 23 fourths, I also need to multiply the right side by 3 elevenths. And then what I get is the coefficient of x canceling out because 3 divided by 3 is 1, 11 divided by 3 is 1, so that gives me x equals 23 fourths times 3 elevenths. And if you figure that out, it comes out to 69 over. 44. That concludes this lesson of educator.com. Thanks for visiting.